On today's show, a bunch of kids much luckier than us get some pretty cool Star Wars stuff. And a crazy dog collar that turns your dog into a giga pet. And also, television may be coming to VR. What? This is Tomorrow Daily. Yeah, you killed it. Yes. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hello, welcome humans. To, yeah, welcome to Tomorrow <laughs> Daily. We got a bunch of uh, nerdy science, tech, and geek stuff for you today. Uh, but uh, Ashley Escada is not here today. Instead, no. we have Cybernova. You know, there was a little mix up. She got abducted on the spaceship. I got beamed down. So now we're here. Let's roll with it. You're an alien? <laughs> Apparently, yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Let's mm -hmm. hit the headlines. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody loves dogs, right? Who doesn't? Come on, they're way better than people. Do you have a dog? <laughs> I do. Okay. Not with me, but okay. I have one. They are they are better than people, and some people are obsessed with dogs. You mean fur babies? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some people are obsessed with dogs, and this brand new high-tech collar is going to help those people become even more obsessed. Uh, Kickstarter launched Buddy collar and now Ooh, i'm gonna launch intriguing. i'm gonna launch right into the features because there's okay. a ton of them <laughs> okay so uh besides having a super multicolored flashing collar which would be really good at raves uh it has it has a temperature sensor so you can see if your dog is too hot oh, or too cold wearable dog tech something i'm worried about uh heart rate stats and a three uh three axis accelerometer wow. so you can tell how fast your dog's running you can tell how how fast his heart's beating if he's getting tired uh, it has a gps and the gps you can create a virtual gate and if your dog leaves that area it'll alert you it'll text you <laughs> um, it also has uh, the programmable colors. The colors, you can wow. make it different colors or like make it flash or whatever so you can see your dog at night. Uh, the app also lets you check your dog's status from anywhere. See, they're doing it right now. Look at Activity that. monitoring from your phone, from your smartwatch, anywhere. It's crazy. Um, also, you get social alerts. This is this is the social alerts. Wow. It'll tell you if a fellow dog that has one of those colors, like if he's his friend, he's like, he's at the park running around and you can be like, cool. I'll bring Ginny to the park and we'll go hang out with your big Rottweiler friends, huh? Social media for dogs. Now, yep. I knew this was coming. We already have the Instagram accounts completely devoted to your pets. Well, guess what? Now you can stock all of their insides, too. You're not You're not <laughs> exciting me about it. I hate those social accounts. Uh, you can also scan their food. See, it's not even done. Yeah. You can also scan their, oh, food, wow. their food to find out if, you know, they need to eat. They need to start losing weight if they're oh, eating too unhealthy. There we go. Uh, there's programmable features so that it'll tell you when the dog needs a walk, uh, when it needs to go to the vet, when it should be uh, sit, and when it should eat. So this is a Kickstarter thing. So it's not it's not fully funded right. yet. Okay. So let me ask you, Cybernova, how much would you pay for this? Probably, if I'm guessing how much I would actually pay for this. Now, if this comes in a small dog size, this changes the game. If this comes in five pound chihuahua size, I would drop a good like 75 bucks on something like that. 75? Monitoring temperatures, think about it. Especially where we live in LA, where you'll see people with huskies in 100 degree weather. That oh, would be yeah. such a great technology to kind of monitor how your pet's doing. But wouldn't you freak out? Like, I feel like I'd be worried all the time. Oh my God, is my dog too hot? Is it oh no. eating enough food? Should I take it for a walk? Is its heart beating really fast? Well, I mean, I don't even use that type of technology on myself, so it might be a stretch to worry about that for a pet, but I could imagine that. You a lot of people take so much better care of their pets than themselves. This is just the next extension. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I, I could I could be tracking her stats right now. Um, right so now. so just for your information on Kickstarter, if you adopt early, it's one hundred and eighty dollars. One hundred. See, there you go. One hundred eighty. Which is I don't budget. think that's too bad considering how much I'd pay that much for the light up call. Yeah, just for the glowing aspect. Okay, <laughs> rave dog. <laughs> so they want two hundred eighty one k to mm -hmm. actually make this oh, thing, and wow. they've raised a hundred k so far. So far. So yeah, when did it start? Bad. Do we know about how long it's taken yet? Uh, I didn't. I didn't see that. But okay, I mean, so that's we don't pretty know good. How long, but still, I think they'll about make it. There, they'll I make want it. this. People like things that glow. Logan, you don't have a dog. Do you want this? I have a dog, and I do want it. Oh, there, see, you, go. there you go. Perfect. There's two sold. <laughs> well, you need a Chihuahua-sized one, the size yes, of like your little tiny, finger. tiny size. That would be okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. So there's there's the stats. 14 days to go. Okay, All 14 right, days you, left, so they have $101,000 raised so far. That's pretty crazy. What do you think, Jenny? I think they're going to make the goal. 
I think they are too. Jenny doesn't care. She, she doesn't care. She doesn't, she doesn't care about being on TV. <laughs> okay, let's move to our next story because uh, VR has been a, a hot topic, but yes, it hasn't it really has. made any real headway. Like We're like, oh, games would be good on it. Where I feel are the like games? making fun of it has made a lot of good titles, though. That's a lot of true. good headway. The whole yes. VR the whole face. falling down. Well, mm-hmm. let me tell you here. Will you hold my dog for me? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we got some new breakthroughs because uh, v- Variety is reporting that uh, Cable Labs is looking at VR now. Now, Cable Labs is actually a nonprofit right. uh, wing of the cable industry. Mm-hmm. And the reason they're looking at it is they saw that there's a lot of response to these 360 degree music videos like Taylor yeah, Swift absolutely. release, mm-hmm. sports things, concerts. They're seeing that a lot of people are having really great reactions to it. And VR and, uh, and cable is getting really excited about it. Now, the reason they're getting exciting about it is really, really stupid and mean, <laughs> and I hate yep. them because they're getting excited because ooh, people will have to upgrade their wireless. I mean, their wired internet connection exactly. because it's going to be more data mm-hmm. because they're going to need a 360 degree and high picture. <laughs> but yep. that's still good for us because we may get some brand new content from maybe some of our favorite shows. Hey. Maybe they'll do a 360 degree episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia now, or something. Now, there are some shows that I would not want to get 360 with. This action sequence right here might not want to be behind a jet, but it would be really cool to just kind of simulate flying and sort of things we can't do in our day-to-day life. Yeah. That definitely interests me. Yeah, I mean, oh, these a lot of these TV shows are creating vivid worlds. Uh, like you think of my, the Minority Report show coming right. out. Any of these ones, uh, like even Breaking Bad, if they're mm-hmm. like they have a scene in, I mean, it's, it's too late, but whatever. Um, so actually, that, that uh, so again, they aren't announcing anything. They're right. just going like this. Hmm. hmm. Something to consider. Well, it makes sense. If you think about it, there. they are losing a lot of money. Everybody is going digital these days. A lot less people are subscribing to cable plans. So... Obviously, they have to jump on the bandwagon and find some way to take more of our money. <laughs> that is exactly what the article mm-hmm. was talking about. There you go. It, it's a very good. It's a very good theory because they need to start creating ways to keep up. Right. So who knows? You may be in Westeros watching a Daenerys claim the Game of Thrones. I didn't even think about live. that. If I could ride the Dragons, dragon, there goals. You go. Right. So, Life but goals complete. <laughs> but that actually leads us to maybe you can add something to this. This is our yes. hashtag of the day. We're asking you guys. Um, this one is. TD, TV, VR. Sorry, I get to cho- choose the hashtag. It's complicated. You did a really good job with that one. <laughs> Thank you. Not enough abbreviations. <laughs> um, but we want to know what television show or series mm. would you like to see some sort of 3D, 360-degree 3D element right. introduced in? Obviously, you heard some of ours. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind an episode of like Rick and Morty where it was 360. Humans would be a good one, Humans too. Humans would be a great one. Get up and close and personal with some VR. Yeah, yeah. the ladies. Hello, yeah. they're robots. So uh, there's the, the world is your oyster. Let us know what you mm-hmm. think and, and which ones you want to see. I can't. I'm wait excited. To yeah, I can't wait to see these. These people are gonna be like, they're gonna be like the wire. We'll be like, whoa, whoa, calm down. Hold on there. Okay, so so our, our next story, we have a. It's really adorable. This is this is yours. You guys. I really am very excited story. about this. So in dads who are way cooler than my news, no, apparently. Doesn't take much. Now this is really exciting. So there are actually a lot of things that can go wrong with a human body, but there are some really creative dads who have come up with a solution to make their kids feel cooler about protecting themselves. So there are a couple of really cool dads we have today. Now, the first dad, his son is recovering from a surgery from craniosynostis. So basically, it causes the bones in the head. As you know, when kids are young, their skull, it's still developing. It has to harden up. So basically, it just hardens up a little bit incorrectly. So it causes some malformation. So his son needed to wear a helmet. So instead of, you know, dorky, giant, foamy helmets that you see in the store... He created Star Wars inspired helmets. Look at this, guys. This is Aww. insane. This is the coolest dad ever. So he made R two D two, which is my one of my personal favorites. Yes, that is the best. Amazing. One. Now Porkins, I like because it really looks like the Porkins character <laughs> oh, on the bottom the right. Fat yes, cheeks. the chubby cheeks. I love that they use that picture for it. And then they also have Biggs and Luke, as you can see there. Pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Stay on target. At least he's even got a Batman shirt in that one. This is this kid's gonna be so nerdy. Yeah, no, coolest dad ever. Now, what's so cool about these two is that he also made a DIY video. So if you guys, you know, you know someone, even if you just want a cool bike helmet for no medical reason whatsoever, you can check out his DIY and oh. try to do it yourself. Yeah, that'd seems be cool. pretty cool. Which yeah. one would you wear? 
Um, Which is I, your favorite? I'm actually kind of disappointed there was no Darth Vader one, but I guess yeah. he wants his son to stay like totally legit. Or, like, yeah, hello, one. light side. Do not yeah. corrupt the young oh, Padawan. Oh, sorry. The force is strong in him, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Now, there's another really cool dad. Now, this is something you might want to wear a helmet for, so it kind of ties into product number one. He created a rocker for his child that looks like the speeder in Star Wars. So this is really cool. His name is Tez Gelmir, and he also has a DIY up on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's really cool, but look at this thing. He made it for a baby. Oh my God, it's so cute. Be careful. <laughs> yes, I know, be very careful. But here's what I like about it the most too, is I'm just kind of thinking of the full play scenarios. Think about it. You get pool noodles, pretend to be the trees that you knock your babies off the speeder with, oh, but don't, don't knock the baby off. Yeah, just don't. Saying. Just saying, you could simulate with okay. pool noodles. <laughs> Swing by your baby. Yeah. Teach it, I know. Teach it good, good things. No, this is great because, you know, Star Wars doesn't have a lot of good dads in it. If you think of... Yeah, you know what? I'm looking Right. You, Darth Vader. Not a lot of good Looking dad stories. Right, so. Vader. <laughs> this is really great. Oh, yeah, here's the D another DIY video. Yeah, so really the cool. DIY video, uh, I did watch it. It is probably past my skill set, but oh. if you have the tools, it definitely seems like something you could make with, you know, five or six tools. If you have a workshop, <laughs> not like me. The two of you that have a workshop. The two of you watching who are good at things in real life. You got this. Send us a picture. <laughs> All right. Well, that brings us uh, that brings us to our break right before we come back with some really cool Much new needed. releases. Much needed break. Yeah, she's already, Jenny's knocked out. Uh, mm -hmm. RIP, Jenny. But uh, we have a break <laughs> video for you. And please be ready because for this break video, we're going to need you to blow on your screen. Trust Seriously, me, it, it'll it. be great. And go. Lost one. We're down one. Well, this is the worst episode <laughs> of Tomorrow Daily Ever. We killed a dog. Anyway, uh, I promise the dog is alive. I just have this effect on animals. Oh, uh, you're coming. <laughs> uh, so it is Tuesday, and you know what that means. Woo! Tacos! No. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish we had Taco Tuesday. No, that means it is time for the new releases of the week. Yeah! All right, we got three of these suckers in today. Uh, some of them you may be interested in, maybe some you won't be. It's a real grab bag. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read off some information about each of them. We're gonna start off with American Ultra. Have you heard of about oh, this yes, one? Oh yes, I've heard of this. Okay, here's here's my synopsis. <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg is a stoner slash slacker that doesn't know he was trained by the CEA to be mm -hmm. CIA to be a lethal killing machine. When the agency targets him for termination, his former handler activates his latent skills turning the mild-mannered slacker into a deadly weapon. Now the utterly surprised Mike must use his newfound abilities to save himself, and his girlfriend is played by Kristen Stewart. So there's that. Well, it's got the teen angst factor, so I'm excited. Um, dude, I can't do nothing. <laughs> uh, it's basically a born identity meets a Seth Rogen movie. Uh, so big news is that it's got a 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yay! Oh, uh, crap. Well, look, you know what you're getting into <laughs> if you go see this movie. You know All exactly right. how you're going in to see this it's movie. It's not supposed to be intelligent humors, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it for what it is. But can I just say, if I am some sleeper cell, feel free to wake me up because that would be such a cool way to discover your yeah. powers. Just saying. I I would be scared <laughs> of you. I'm already scared of you as it is. A little bit is. scared? Yeah. yeah we, don't, we don't want me to get powers. See, she woke up. <laughs> the animal kingdom is united. So we got uh, the next one up is Hitman Agent 47. Uh, and let me read this off to you. Based on a somewhat kind of popular video game franchise where you mostly screw around killing people or strangling them, Hitman Agent 47, played by Rupert Friend, is the perfect genetically engineered assassin who must take down a corporation that plans to unlock the secret of his engineering slash training to create an army of killers more powerful than him. And he teams up, and he teams up with a sexy young lady. Ooh. Also, Zachary Quinto's in it. Also, he must try to save this film franchise series. Because the first one was terrible. <laughs> 
All right, well, I mean, they do have some good names in there. Thankfully, they have some people who've already done some pretty cool titles, you know, heroes, big shows like that. So, you know, maybe they finally got the cast down, and this will be the big break that this series needs on film. Wow, <laughs> you are re- you really are supporting this one. I mean, you're hey, like you're playing. Uh, you know, I really like that video game, and since we don't have VR, and I can't immerse myself in it yet, right. yet this is the next best thing for me. All right, <laughs> a little a little bit of optimism. I yes, like that positivity. Okay, all right. Because the the first one got a fourteen percent rotten tomatoes. You know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know Maybe what? Maybe Rupert. It's Rupert Friend's time. He's got it. Get believe, it, Rupert. Believe, believe in the hitman. We believe in Rupert. Rupert, <laughs> Team Rupert. All right. And the last one that we have is Sinister Two. Let me read the synopsis for you. A woman and her sons encounter the evil spirits of Bagul and a house that's marked for death. That's all I've got. Bagul? You want to run that? Is that what it is? Bughul? Bughul. All right. Well, Bughul. I don't well, know what mystery, that is. Mystery, murder, mystery. That's it, always it, exciting. It's the scary girl person monster thing in this series. So it's insane. It's like it's sinister too. You know what you're getting again. I know what um, you're getting. This is comes from uh, producer Jason Blum. I don't know if you know him. He I'm did not familiar. The Gift, Insidious, oh, The Purge, okay. Paranormal Activity. So this is what he does. Okay. He makes these movies. It'll these movies always make a trash bag load full of money, and this will be no different. So hey, expect a lot of fun. jump scares yeah. and a lot of twists. I'm looking forward It'll to it. It'll be fun. The twist is <laughs> there's nothing scary in it. You just go oh. and it's Hitman Agent 47. <laughs> Team Roper! There we go. <laughs> we got your back, Rupert. Don't you worry. All right. So that's it for new releases. No, uh, no, no, no more. more new releases. That's it. I'm sorry. At least we still have puppies. We still got puppies. <laughs> yes. Now we're going to move on to what you guys had to say this week. This is user feedback. I'm trying to make that sound kind of like sexy. This. Yeah, I know. I'm getting mixed signals now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So, uh, user feedback last, uh, yesterday actually, we uh, talked about, it was hashtag TD23. We asked you, what surprise announcement would you have liked to hear at the recent Disney convention, D23? That's a very good question, actually. Yeah. Oh, what do you think? What would you have liked to hear? I would like to hear more, I guess, Infinity. More Disney about Infinity. what they're going to be adding to Disney Infinity, some cool worlds I could explore. You know, as a YouTuber, I'm all about finding cool things to do online. Gotta try it out. Oh, you can't bring <laughs> such a positivity to this show. I'm, I'm sorry, I have I'm a puppy <laughs> sleeping on my lap. It's hard to be angry. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's go to you guys. Uh, Dustin Connell says, they should have announced that they are making J.J. Abrams the king of Disney World. King of Disney. Let him live in the castle? Right, I mean, well, they already have the castle. Lord J.J., welcome I, I to your like palace. I would like to see this, and I would like to be the queen. Just throwing that out there. With J.J. Abrams? <laughs> yes, let's do yeah, this. That's not a if bad... I get to live in the Disney castle, anything. That's not a, man, not a bad man crush Monday. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and now uh, moving on to Spike Tiger. Spike mm-hmm. Tiger says, newest Pixar movie, Comic Spot, which is actually a recurring character on the show. Yeah. Comic Spot, a robot to make your life easier, turns bad, but turns out to have a heart of gold. Aww. Man, uh, he's a very deep character. It's really hard to understand comics. Spoiler Spot. alert! <laughs> comics Spot separates out your comics and has a wealth of comic book Okay, knowledge. there we go. So you, you seem to know a lot about this. Yeah, well, one of our users created him, and slowly we've learned his backstory. Created. Okay, so, now so you're the, the leading expert on this show. Comic Spot, yeah. <laughs> okay, and our last one <clears throat> comes from Johnny West. Solid name. Yeah. Disney should announce they're going to free Mickey from his unconstitutional perpetual copyright prison. Free Mickey! Free Mickey! Free Mickey! Team Rupert! Free Mickey! (laughs) All right, so there you go. That's your user feedback. Uh, Don't forget that your your, uh, hashtag today is TDTVVR. So don't forget to send us in some. Uh, You can send any of your user feedback, Mm -hmm. anything, if you want to send in any praise about Ginny or anything. You can email us at tomorrow at cnet.com. You can find us on Twitter or pretty much any social network. If you type in Tomorrow Daily on Google, you can find any of those things. Um, and don't worry, the regular host will resume her chair next week as well. God, I don't look <laughs> she's cut out for the <laughs> entertainment industry. Uh, so, Cybernova, where can we find you on this wonderful internet? On the YouTubes. I am Cybernova everywhere online, so you'll, you'll find me sooner or later. What I'm you there. doing on there? I do mainly a lot of video games. like to get in the games, but, you know, I'm on, I'm on everything. Periscope, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. I am on it. Okay, all right. Yeah, so go check her out. She's she's a funny, funny lady. That's why I brought you in. So thank you again oh, thanks, for bud. coming in. And thanks for the puppy. Yeah! 
Oh, oh now I feel sorry. Bad. Woke her up. Go back to sleep. All right, guys. Dude. That's it to, for today on Tomorrow Daily. Ashley will be back tomorrow, but the dog won't. So we'll see you guys next time for a bunch of great nerdy science fiction-y stuff. Yeah, I don't know how she ends it. We'll see you guys. <laughs>